Hello my friends and welcome back to the Long Dark Experiment on our quest to survive for 500 days on Interloper with a bit of a twist. This is episode 49. Let's go ahead and resume our game. Okay, when last we left off, we are here at the barn in Pleasant Valley attempting to craft the uh, bearskin coat. Uh, it is going to take a long time to get that accomplished. Um, in the meantime, uh, we are going to try to get our tools in good shape. Our hacksaw, we were able to get up to 50% in the last episode, but I'm completely out of scrap metal. Got to get some scrap metal to fix up the hacksaw and also our can opener. It's uh, currently at 47% as well. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit better about using the hacksaw now uh, that it's at 50%. I think in the last episode it got down to like 20% or something, 25%. And uh, if it broke, man, that would that would really be bad. But uh, now we do uh, we do have 50% hacksaw. Um, let's check what time of day it is. Looks like the sun is just going down. Hopefully I have enough light where I can harvest this shelf. Ooh, two hours, 15 minutes. I don't think that's going to be enough. Uh, light for us to accomplish that. Let's get our lantern out. I might have to go to sleep or pass some time or something. Um, it seems like every night, the last few nights, there has been an aurora, but we, we've just been sleeping through it. Uh, we're not super tired. Not even halfway tired yet, so I could just pass time and uh, see if we can get an aurora. It would be kind of nice. Let's put our lantern out, and you know what? Maybe I'll go outside and pass a little bit of time out here. Yeah, it looks plenty, plenty light out here, but uh, you know what? I'm going to go inside here. It'll give us a little bit more warmth, and we'll get credit for being outside. And I'm just going to pass time. Uh, Let's see, can I can I use the Yeah, I can use the sleeping bag to pass time. Okay, nice. Um, I'll just pass as much time as we can until we get cold. We're actually not getting very cold. Well, but I am getting thirsty. Let's get a drink. Looks like a beautiful night. Um, if I remember, I think we are almost out of water. Yeah, we have uh, just one liter left. Like this, the moon is coming up. That's actually really beautiful. Beautiful night. And eh, we got a wolf making his way up to the moon to howl, looks like. Um, I'm wondering if I should just make a fire and uh, cook up some water. We're definitely going to need water in the morning when we try to do some crafting. So I think that's probably our best option. Let's see what kind of firewood we have inside. I've been trying to collect sticks as uh, as often as I can. We do have these books we could burn. And over here, yeah, I got a lot of sticks. I'm not sure I can carry much more. heard kind of a weird noise there. I think it's just the uh, creaking of the barn. Let's see, we got some torches here. Reclaimed wood. I'm kind of kind of hesitant to use reclaimed wood. I do like the idea of having it for rabbit traps if we need it. Try to get by with what we have. All right, let's use one of our low quality torches. I'll use the 22% torch here. It's a beautiful night. Living in the city, I do miss seeing the stars. 
kind of a rare event where you can actually see the Milky Way. Right. Fire is such an interesting thing. You know, I was just thinking about how uh, the times where I've been alone in the woods, it just seems like when, when I have a fire, it feels like I have a friend. Have you ever noticed that? Like it's a living entity almost. It's kind of a kind of a strange phenomenon. I wonder if that's how Astrid feels. You know, she is totally alone. I think the fire is one of her, one of her uh, comforts, one of her friends. All right, let's get some water cooking. I'm gonna go for two liters, and then this other slot we could uh, we could just cook up some meat, I guess. Mostly just trying to kind of pass time, maybe see if we get an aurora. Or until we get tired, we can go to sleep. Uh, the cold is making my head. Oh yeah, we're starting to get cold. That's not good. Our fire's gonna blow out, isn't it? There it goes. Nine minutes. It went. It jumped from two hours down to nine minutes, just like that. It's kind of unlucky. We picked the uh, the wrong angle to build the fire at, but. Uh, it is what it is. I guess we do have um, got some water purification tablets, so it's not like the uh, it's not like the end of the world. Get a bite to eat. Okay. Well, that's too bad about our fire. It's so cold. I just... I'm gonna try to craft up some sticks now. Uh, I've got all these torches. It'd be nice if I could batch these and just, you know, do a whole bunch all at once. Let me see how many sticks we have. Uh, I've got 23. Okay, so it's, it's really not that critical. We get a whole bunch of these crafted up or harvested. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably stop there. Um, I will pass some time. Let's just see if we can get an Aurora. Uh, it's getting kind of late. Maybe I'll go to sleep. I'll just sleep in increments of like two hours, maybe. So we don't need to heal up. So there's really no benefit to sleeping uh, long stretches of time right now. Let me drop our sticks here. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Okay, um, yeah, I'll sleep for a couple hours. I don't think we'll get an Aurora because, uh, like I said, we've had an Aurora the last two nights. I'd actually be pretty surprised if we get another one. Oh, we're thirsty. I gotta get a drink. Okay, I do have the tablets. I'm pretty sure we picked up tablets from, um, yeah, yeah, Thompson's Crossing. We had some tablets, so let's use these. Okay, 
I would Water's all purified. Right now. Back up to three liters of water. Okay. Oh, we've survived 90 days. All right, let's uh, sleep a little longer. I'll sleep for two hours. Looks like the sun is just about ready to peak over the horizon. I don't know if it will let me go one more hour, but I'm going to try. Let's try two, see if it will let us sleep. Oh, good. It's like the sun is just coming up. Well, I think we have something like 20 hours or more left trying to get this bearskin coat crafted up. Bear skin coat, uh, 31 hours. Ooh, almost 32 hours remaining. Let's try eight hours. I'll cancel if we get hungry or thirsty. Okay, I'm gonna cancel there because we are getting pretty thirsty. Let's get some metal. 15 minutes. I do want to fix up our can opener and our uh, and our hacksaw. We got six metal out of that. Okay, let's do. Yeah, let's go for it. I wonder if there's any metal outside. Would be kind of nice to spend a little time outside today. Let me see if we have any risk of. Uh, cabin fever. Good. No, nothing yet. So that's actually pretty good. Maybe I will break this down. Oh, am I stuck? Oh, here we go. Stepped in between the boards. Alright, let's break down this one right here. Try to get this up to close to a hundred percent. Ninety percent. Um, you know what? Thirty minutes. Let me let me check on our can opener. How much does it repair on that? Actions, repairs, 25%. Okay. We failed. Let's try it again. Failed again. I could eat 72. This should bring it pretty close to 100%. 97. Okay, nice. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better about that. Uh, once our hacksaw gets down around 75%, we'll probably repair it again. I don't want to waste the uh, the metal. So we have one piece of metal left out of that. because we failed twice with the can opener attempt. Okay, well, let's get a drink. Oh, I need some food also. I can just drop down here. Back this way. Quite the storm. I'm so lucky to have that meat right there. Takes so many calories to uh, craft up this this coat. All right, let's head up and continue crafting. 
I was thinking, well, we're so so close here to the, the other airplane wreck. It might be fun to head over there and check it out. Over by the... Uh, oh, man, what is that? I can't think of the name of it. The, the, base, the basement up there. Yeah, it'll come to me. But uh, there's airplane wreck and possibly another prepper's cache we could check out. I might want to try that while we're we're so close to it. Okay, uh, you know what? I need to, I should drink up all the way. Now our belly's completely full. Plenty of food, plenty of water. We're just short on sunlight, really. But let's see how much we can get accomplished here. Daylight's gonna run out before I think before we get tired, or uh, yeah, before we run out of food or anything. Okay, well we have about 20 hours remaining. Uh, 12 if we use yeah with our improvised knife. 12, 12 hours remaining, 12 and a half. So probably tomorrow, I'm thinking we'll uh, finally be done. I'm really, really glad we have this lantern. Makes life so much better being able to quickly flip it on. See what the uh, what the night looks like. Another storm. Okay. Well, we're not going to be going anywhere. Just wait things out here. I'm gonna pass some time. Um, let's get a drink first. See if we can get an Aurora tonight. That is a very long solitaire game. All right, well, it doesn't look like we're going to get a, an Aurora. Um, let's go to the truck. Can I find it in the dark? Yeah, I'll just turn this on. Okay, hopefully we have enough water. We're down to half a liter of water. Not quite enough for a full night's sleep. Um, but let's uh, let's go to sleep. I think we're only we'll probably only get like nine hours anyway. Let's see. I'm gonna go for six hours. Let's try six. <laughs> Nice, okay. Sun's up. Uh, affliction, cavern fever, risk. Uh, looks like we did survive 92 days, or we have survived. Cabin fever, risk is getting up there, unfortunately. Um, I'm kind of kind of worried about that. And we need some uh, we need some water. So let's let's go outside, get a breath of fresh air and cook up some water. Let's use one of our torches. Sure, I'll take the charcoal. At some point in the future, I will need a whole bunch of charcoal. I'm not sure when that's going to happen, but uh, we're going to do lots of mapping. May as well grab it. We can drop it. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Of course, I never do remember to drop it. I always end up carrying, you know, 12 charcoal around with me. Okay, little fire. Um, 
Hopefully the wind doesn't shift. put a piece of coal on just to stay warm. It is way cold. Hopefully that will do the trick. I'm so glad this meat is here. Really would be a problem if we didn't have it. Okay, I'll get by the fire here. Let's check on our cabin fever. It is slowly going down. the weather seems to be not blowing out our fire so that's good I'm not sure I can carry much more I'm gonna go for two more liters yeah I'll go for two more liters comes the wind. I need some water. Looks like it's uh, blowing at the right angle this time, so our fire's not going to go out. That's good. May as well cook some tea. I think we'll go inside and do a little bit more crafting. They're not very good torches. Right, uh, hopefully we got a good chunk of water out of that. Let's see how much water we got. Six liters. Put those down here for now. Get a drink and do a little bit more work on our bearskin coat. go as long as it will let us. Uh, daylight's going to fade before we finish, I think. So we're getting thirsty. You know, I'm just going to let the uh, thirst keep going. There we go. Right, we are out of light. Um, let's see how much 
time is left. 3.75 hours. That is nothing now compared to uh, where we first started. Get a drink. So we should ha we should have no problem finishing that up first thing in the morning, I think. Um, let's get a light going. I'll drop down. Take a look at what the uh, the night sky looks like. Get a little breath of fresh air. It's actually not too cold, guys. Let's. Um, I'm going to pass a little bit of time. Oh, we're getting cold now. All right, I'll probably sleep here, or I mean, we'll we'll go inside and sleep. Okay, let's get a drink. You know, even if we get an Aurora, I think we'll just sleep through the night. Let's go for seven hours. I'll see you in the morning. Hey, good morning. We've survived 93 days, one hour and 22 minutes. We've got a uh, nice amount of sunlight to go crafting. All right, guys, this is our last push. We'll be uh, done giving birth to this uh, code. I don't know why I said that. Because <laughs> probably because I said push. It's our last. Uh, it's our last attempt here. All right, bearskin coat, 3.75 hours, let's go. Nice, we are done. Bearskin coat is complete. Let's check this out. All right, so we have um, ski jacket. And the Mackinac. Uh, I do believe the uh, bearskin coat is going to be the best on the outside. 80% waterproof, 5 degrees of wind protection, 15 protection compared to the Mackinac. Yeah, it's just so much better. So we'll, we'll put the bearskin on the outside. And then I think the Mackinac is probably better out of these two does weigh a little bit more, but it's going to give us more warmth. It does uh, slow us down a little bit as well. For now, I'm going to I'm going to wear the Mackinac, and we'll we'll probably end up leaving the uh, ski jacket here, maybe in the uh, in the locker. Guys, that is so nice, and having this bearskin coat, I think it does occasionally scare away the wolves, so it will give us a little bit more protection in that uh, regard. But let's use the uh, the locker here. And where are you, ski jacket? There we go. Put that in there. Uh, and the scarf. Didn't didn't realize we had the scarf with us. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Um, let's check on our cabin fever. It's getting up there. So I do want to leave and uh, try to lower that risk here pretty soon. Let's see what we can drop. So I've got the extra, extra black bear hide, we can drop that. 
I'm gonna take a gut with us. By the way, how is our how are our gloves? Um, where are you? Mittens are down to 89. Hmm. Well, you know what? We're probably gonna be back here pretty soon. I just want to go for a quick expedition. I'm gonna drop our survival bow. We've got our 66% one here. We'll take that with us. Leave that here for now. Okay, maybe I will drop the gut and uh, drop the metal. Leave that one here for now. Before we leave, I, I think I do want to uh, craft up some more arrowheads. I mean, not arrowheads, um, arrow shafts to take along with us. That does take the workbench, right? Um, let me quickly look through here. Oh, we don't need this piece of leather. You know what? I'm going to leave both pieces of leather here. So we will be back. Um, I think I'll leave three of these. Of course, I'll leave some torches. That's probably good. Drop our sticks. Okay, we've got a couple books we can drop. Um, I'm going to drop the accelerant. Let's, I'll put it over here. Okay, medical. Definitely don't need all these pills. Okay, that looks better. We're good for clothing, food-wise. Um, I think we're good. We'll take the candy bars with us. I probably have a ton of charcoal, don't I? I should check that. I'm also wondering if I've mapped this uh, the barn before. Uh, let's drop this and this for now. I'm gonna leave these here. I will pick it up and take it with us when we uh, when we depart. Finally, uh, after we go to the aircraft. Okay, I think we're, I think we're good there. Where are, where's the charcoal? 18. Oh yeah, <laughs> way too much charcoal. Um, let me ch let me check the map first. Let's see if we've mapped this. Okay, so where do we have the barn on here? Community hall? No. Let's map the barn. Nice. We also haven't, um, we didn't map the house either. It's probably like over here somewhere. Okay, I'm going to go inside and drop this uh, charcoal. Keep two pieces with us. Um, now, I am a little bit worried about the cold. Just that short little time we were there mapping, it got really cold. Um, maybe I'll go up and craft... Maybe I'll go craft a... Uh, some arrow shafts to warm up a, a little bit.
Ooh, our knife is at 36%. I definitely need to get that uh, sharpened up. 39 minutes. Let's go ahead. Man, I could use a drink. Okay, I definitely need to uh, fix our knife up. Okay, um, let's check our water situation. Just about out of water, so we need two of these. Get a little bit of a drink. It'd be nice if we could get a fire from the sun. We could warm up some tea. Take a few more sticks with us, okay. Do I want to take the whetstone? We do have one whetstone, and we're coming back, so I think I think we're good for now. Looks like the weather's changing. I can't can't tell if it's getting better or worse. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's get a bite to eat here. Looks like the sun might be coming out. Yeah, it looks like the uh, the storm might be blowing over. It's actually not too bad. And I think already our uh, bearskin coat is making a difference. All right, well, I'm just going to head up uh, head up towards the mountains. Still can't remember the place we're going. Um, <laughs> up that rope in the basement. Oh, it'll it'll come to me. You guys are probably yelling that at me right now. Wait, I don't want to go that way. I need to go this way. Wait. I need to go this way. Yeah, we'll check out uh we'll check out the little cabin over here. Maybe even climb up the rope. And then we've got uh, we've got the prepper's cache we could check out. We've got the aircraft wreck, all the boxes. Well, no, there's no cargo boxes, but it will have um, suitcases and dead bodies and stuff. Well, I'm I don't think the moose is going to be here, but I do like to look. Haven't seen any moose sign in this part of the uh, the map. Did, did we see some over there? We may have. Can't can't remember exactly what what we have or haven't seen. It's like a rabbit. Is that a rabbit? Um, two rabbits. Okay. Um, you know what? We are trying to level up our archery. gonna go. But I will get the, uh, the birch bark though. Well, you know what? Let me let me switch back to the bow and I'm gonna switch to our good arrows just in case. There we go. That birch bark? Never have enough birch bark in this game. I was considering getting those rabbits because we could leave their their bodies at the uh, the little cabin. I kind of want to just keep going though. Getting so much bir birch bark. I love it.
All right, there's some mushrooms. I really should start collecting more mushrooms and uh, rose hips. Okay, I've got the waterfall. I, uh, I'm trying to figure out where where that is on the map. I think I need to head more to the right. Let's see if I can get up this little embankment here. Hopefully it's not too steep. Ooh, that looks pretty steep. Too steep. Um... Okay, I think we do need to go off to this direction uh, to get to the cabin and the rope climb. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it's starting to get cold. I'm glad we got our bearskin coat. It's really slowed down the uh, temperature loss. can hear the crows. Are they just overhead? Oh, they're just flying away. Okay. Well, I'm hoping this little expedition will help us lose some of our uh, cabin fever. And uh, I've been wanting to come up here anyway. Check out the plane wreck. So if I have gone the wrong way, we still can get to our destination. I may have gone the wrong way. Just need to go around the, uh, the rocks. Is this the, the bear track area or the, uh, the road? Yeah, I think I went too far. Yep, I know where we are, okay. So we're back by the, the bear den. Um, but this will get us where we want to go. I just won't, uh, I won't hit the little cabin that I wanted to, to get to until we come back, I think. And maybe this time the, the ptarmigans are back. Seems like they go on, um, they like, Go to different locations on the map at different times. All right, now we're cold. Do I, if I don't warm up soon? Check over here and see if the ptarmigans are are in the area. Oh, I see him. Just about walked right into him.
All right, we only have three uh, fire hardened arrows. Too high. It's better. Try for that one in the distance. Oh, he moved. All right, how about this one? Got that one. All right, now we're down to our good arrows. You're gonna get too close, aren't you, little ptarmigan? And one more, right there. Too short. He's coming. Nice, got all four of them. Now we're probably gonna attract wolves. I'm not sure I can carry much more. We are very smelly. Let's get a drink. And this wind is no good. I'm gonna risk a match. Let's see if we can get a torch lit. Oh, it's so windy now. Okay, I can see the wolves coming. Alright, let me up. There's our first wolf right there. Hey there, Wolfie. Um... Let's try to scare him away as quick as we can. Okay, can I do some running? Alright, we got him behind us now. don't like this wind. Hey, there's a maple sapling right there. And our uh, torch just blew out. Okay, no maple sapling. Switch to our... Oh, wait. I'll we'll switch to our bow. There we go. This is pretty dangerous. We could come... Um, we could come face to face with a uh, another wolf. The wind seems to be in our favor in this instance because it's blowing kind of away from us. Like uh, the direction we're going, the wind is not blowing the smell of us. Okay, I think I will head back up to this, uh, the prepper's cache we already know about. We'll get warm and harvest these ptarmigan and cook them up. And then um, around that side is really where we want to go. Facing that way, that's where we want to end up. Yeah, over that way. That's where we need to go. But I'm, I'm actually just going to go to safety here at the Prepper's Cache. As long as I don't see a wolf right here, we should be fine. Oh, that wind is right in our face, though. It's like we were just here, huh?
next time I make a fire, I need to uh, I need to craft some more fire hardened arrows. I'm gonna grab this. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, nice. I made it safely back to the Prepper's Abandoned Cache. Let's drop our tarm again. guys harvested up. Um, let's use a hacksaw. Eight minutes, yeah. Let's go for the hacksaw. Um, you know what I just thought of? I'm gonna save these guys because the sun is almost down. I'm going to use the uh, the workbench. Let's craft up some more arrows. Do we do ha do we have the tools with us? I guess I I guess I do. Maybe I still have them. I thought I dropped them. Um Okay. Do one more. Okay. Now we can harvest these ptarmigan in the darkness. Um, you know, I'm not. I'm not going to drink. We'll wait till we go to bed because we're kind of low on water. Yeah. We'll wait to go to bed to get a drink. So that one's already harvested. Take a little bit of uh, thirst damage, but we are uh, we are really tired, and uh, we'll, we should rest up and heal nicely. Now, I don't know if I want to harvest the, the feathers or not. I guess we could. How long is that going to take? An hour and 52 minutes. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll grab some of them. Let's grab four of them. Uh, now we're taking tired damage. Okay. Um, I'm going to drop the meat outside. So tired. Let's put the raw meat over here. We can eat up. Okay, I think I'm ready to climb into bed. Way back here in the dark. Let's get a drink. Sleep for 10 hours. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, good morning. Scurvy risk. Oh, no. Well, we survived 94 days, it said. Looks like we got to uh, eat some more vitamin C. How's our cabin fever risk? So we've got uh, pretty significant cabin fever risk and we've just started scurvy risk. 
So, um, I think I will leave the, let's leave the ptarmigan down here. 24 ptarmigan down. I'll leave 10 of them here. Oh, I should have dropped that last night, huh? I'm going to, I'm going to just leave that here. Leave that to cure. Maybe I'll put these guys outside. Leave them for the wolves. Um, is there anything else I need to do before we head out? I do need to craft some more fire hardened arrows here pretty soon. I think we're good though. All right, let's see what the day looks like. Leave these here. Oh, it is way cold this morning. I'm going to drop a, maybe a couple sticks. And then let's head uh, let's head over the hill. So we're back up to 13 arrows. That's nice. Could potentially take down a moose if we could find one. Okay, I want to be kind of careful of the sprain risk. Let me run up to this rock. Okay, I'm not sure where we want to go first. Wow, did I just see a bedroll? Nice. Okay, I will take it. Let's check under here. Maybe I'll go check the prepper's cache first. It's gonna be uh, back this way, I think. No. It's gonna be uh, over here. Let's see. There's the. Yeah, this is the right way. So this will take us to the airplane wreck, and then I think the uh, prepper's cache is up at the top of the airplane wreck area kind of off to the side oh lovely sorry about that Astrid can we use a bow no we can't use a bow all right it can be a bear up here so I definitely need to uh, bandage our wrist have to keep our ears open for the bear It's also going to be a wolf up here. There's almost always a wolf here. I think what I'll do is I'll head to the basement first and try to warm up. Uh, maybe wait till it's a little bit later in the day. Uh, which means I'll probably end up taking a shot of this wolf. No sign of the bear. Here's our plane wreck though. Part of the plane wreck. So we will head back to that here shortly. Let's see if we can avoid the uh, the wolf. So we got a dead guy over here. Let's 
see if he has anything. Nice. Candy bar and a revolver round cartridge. Skeeter's Ridge. Guys, it just barely came to me. There it is. Skeeter's Ridge. Oh, that's funny how the brain works. I, I could not think of that. All right, where are you, wolf? There's always a wolf up here. I mean, I guess I could get a fire started. I think that's a wolf, maybe? I don't know. Don't see him. Side. Nice. I made it to Skeeter's Ridge in the basement. Looks like there's enough light to loot. Let's see what we have. Hey, got some wood. That's good. I can drop any of this gear. Some crates we could break down if we needed to. Cloth. Is there something under there? A book? I'll take it. Advanced guns, guns, guns. Another 25 hours. Uh, it's really quite the book. So I think that's our second guns, guns, guns book. We already checked that, right? Okay. Dog food. Looks like this has been here a while. I'm glad we fixed up our can opener. Okay, nice. Well, we could uh, try to warm up a little bit here, I guess. Um, let me take inventory. So we picked up the wood. I probably need to drop that so we can get lightweight. Maybe I'll drop a few matches here. I have so many matches back at our uh, at the barn. Leave three matches here. Um, yeah, may as well. Let's drop our sticks and I'll drop the wood here. Warming up, I could uh, craft up some of these. Let's craft up three of them. Uh, let's do one more. We're almost warm. Okay, let's go see. Uh, I'm going to check on the weather. Get our bow out. I'm going to crouch down too. I really don't know where that wolf went. Go check out the body, and uh, I think we can actually get to the prepper's cache if we walk around this way. Any more feathers? OK, 
Okay, I think if I hug the wall here, it might lead us around. Just have to watch out for the wolf. Getting a little lag. Let's uh, grab these. Dead, uh, dead deer over there. Burned Ridge Cave. Right, let's check it out. I've got a bed. So cold in my life. Don't see any coal, unfortunately. You know, I'm gonna pass a little bit of time in the bed here. About now. Let's pass an hour, see if we can warm up. And get a drink. Okay, we are out of water now. Okay, so we do have a deer here. I think I'll leave him alone. Okay, so the prepper's cache isn't here, which uh, means that um, I made a mistake, and I think it is maybe on the back side of the mountain. I mean, just on the other side of the uh, plane wreck. So kind of by where we saw that hunter's blind and the dead body, if we just kept going up that way, that would uh, I think that's where it would take us. I don't think this is the right uh, way for the prepper's cache, but I do see some saplings. So I'll grab these. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Skeeter's Ridge. How how could I forget that? Such a unique name. And I haven't played the story mode. I'm guessing maybe somebody in the story mode is named Skeeter. I don't think I've ever seen any uh, wolves or bears up here. So I think if I could drop down behind this rock right there, I think that's where the prepper's cache would be. The, uh, the prepper's cache we haven't been to yet, the one we're trying to find. Take a minute and look at the uh, plane wreck here. I always like to kind of stand back and look around when we get to a new area. Looks like we've got the back part of the fuselage here. Did I miss anything over here? Any loot? Gotta warm up somehow. Let's check over here.
Okay, temperature is dropping pretty quickly. Just gonna, I'm gonna zigzag back and forth. Hopefully, oh, I don't miss any so suitcases. behind here. Got a book. This will come in handy. Ooh, another ski jacket. Some wool socks. Is there anything up here? Hope nobody needs this anymore. Can of soda. Nice. Got a dead body over here. Maybe the captain? Looks like a civilian. Is there anything under the plane? Don't think so. Alright, let's head up into the plane. Can I get up here? There we go. Um, I have gotten a sprain doing this before, so we got to be careful. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Check the benches. All right, let me check this side. Don't see anything. All right, we're gonna check the overhead bins. There might be something up here. We're taking cold damage. Well, I was kind of hoping to find maybe some uh, airline meals, but it looks like it's pretty much empty. Another book. All right, well, maybe I'll just run back to Skeeter's Ridge. Let's get our bow out. We'll warm up over here. Maybe I'll even uh, make a fire or something. Get some tea cooked up or something. And we can go around the other side and find the prepper's cache. Any sign of the wolf? All right, guys. Well, I think this is where we're going to call it an episode right here at the top of Skeeter's Ridge. Um, I think it's been a really good episode. We did finish crafting up our bearskin coat. We made it all the way up here. We looted the uh, airplane wreck. 
and we're now safely entering Skeeter's Ridge. So, guys, thanks so much for coming along. Please leave me a message. Let me know what you think of the episode, or if you prefer, you can just leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It really does help out the channel. But most importantly, guys, I do hope to catch you in the next episode. Take care.